After five months at sea, the USS Theodore Roosevelt returned home to San Diego this morning. It was the first deployment since that coronavirus outbreak last year sidelined the ship, which happened last July. Our Jeff McAdam takes us to NAS North Island for today's homecoming. Last deployment, when a sailor on board got COVID-19, it spread quickly throughout the crew. More than a thousand people infected. Not this time around. This time, they had a plan. With the crew on deck and music blasting on the intercom, the USS Theodore Roosevelt pulled into Coronado Tuesday morning. It is my distinct, distinct pleasure and my great joy to be back in San Diego and to bring the ship and the entire strike group back home. I'll also say the crew has learned a ton about COVID. Uh, quite a bit of press on the first outbreak on the first Navy ship, uh, but we had three asymptomatic cases during this uh, deployment when we took some gains on board and we were able to stop it at three. Rear Admiral Doug Verissimo says they were one of the first to implement contact tracing and used frequent COVID testing. The crew learned a lot since the outbreak on board last year, resulting in more than a thousand crew members getting sick. I would even go so far as to say the lessons we learned on board TR have been incorporated across business and across across government across the United States. Uh, we we uh, maybe not the uh, ceremonious uh, lessons you want to be able to teach folks, but this crew really did uh, grab and understand how to uh, beat back the virus. They survived COVID. I know. Period. This deployment, the second in a very short period of time, went a little more smoothly. Oh yeah, it was a lot smoother, no, no craziness, so we appreciate that. The crew spent the past five months doing joint operations with Australian and Japanese military and spent the past month in the Gulf of Alaska. Anxious families, moms with newborns, welcoming them home Tuesday. I think he's just going to be overwhelmed with like happiness. He's just going to start crying. I already know. He is. Some of the crew still with antibodies from their last deployment. Many others getting vaccinated on board in the past month. It means a different kind of homecoming. When I walked off the brow last year, I wasn't able to go up and kiss my wife in front of the press. The crew is much happier now that we're vaccinated. Those vaccinated, inoculated personnel don't have to wear masks. Everybody's happy being able to look at your, uh, your fellow shipmates' faces and their smile and their emotions. It's not likely that the USS Theodore Roosevelt will go out again this year, but we're told there's only 12 aircraft carriers currently in service, so it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility. From Coronado, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News.